Okay, welcome to this PHP Basics tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to quickly sort of extend the previous tutorial, if you like. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about file upload security. Um, obviously, if you're allowing your users to upload files to your server, you're going to want to um, want to um, restrict the file types that they can upload, um, unless, of course, you're offering like a file hosting platform or something. But there are a lot of cases um, where you might only want to allow them to upload images. Um, a lot of um, a lot of sites do this in a way that is actually um, insecure um, that would allow people to upload any file at all, including like a PHP script, which they could then use to delete your whole website. It would be pretty terrible. Um, on the screen at the moment, we have the same setup as in the file upload tutorial. Um, basically, this file is going to upload files into this folder which is currently empty. Uh, so I just open this file. Um, you see we have the same form as before, so I'm not going to talk about the form, I'm going to be talking about the security aspect of it. Um, if I just have, if we just add the same print underscore r as before uh, on the files array, like so, oops, like so, um, and go back to our browser and just select a file, did that again, whoops, no, yeah, good. Uh, and I just pick that file, same as always. Yeah, um, a lot of sites use this um, files, the type uh, key from the files array, uh, which is currently image slash png, which identifies the file we loaded as an image. The problem with this is that this uh, value here is actually supplied by the browser. So if you you can write in about five minutes, you can write a very simple piece of code, which uploads a file, sends the post data of the form submission, sort of. Um, and just um, they could like upload a PHP script, but still sends this image slash PNG as the type. So if you check this, they, they, uh, people can basically just fake it. Um, so you don't want to do that. Um, really, th there's no time I can think of when you can actually we would ever use this type key, um, just because it's so untrustworthy. Unless the type wasn't particularly important but it usually is, and it's not particularly hard to get um, directly from the file. Um, but what we're going to do is check the file extension, which will be more efficient than examining the actual file uploaded data, um, just because th it, there's less to do. And say if someone uploads a PHP script and is forced to give it the extension of a dot PNG, for example, then when they try to run that script by like browsing to it, um, they won't be able to. It'll just show a corrupted image. Um, so although your system might not be particularly sort of nice um, in that it will just show a corrupted image, um, it, uh, you will um, still be secure. They won't be able to delete all your files. So the way we're going to do that is incredibly simple. Um, we're going to define an array of allowed extensions. We're going to just call that ext. Um, we're going to just use the array, technically not a function, um, the array, whatever it's called. Um, we're going to define the um, extensions that you're allowed to upload. Um, so that's going to be jpg, jpeg for things that use that, um, gif, oops, and PNG. Um, then we're simply going to get the. Oh well, actually we're we're going to be doing this if the file has been uploaded. So if files, if is set files um, upload, like so. Um, and then we we need to get the file extension. Um, I usually do this using um, the explode function, which will create an array. Um, well, you can look up on php.net. Basically, it splits the string. Like, okay, example. Say if you had the string, um, this is a test, and you exploded this string using this character, you'd get this is a, a test in, um, like, what each of those would be a key in the array returned by the explode function. Um, and then you combine that with the end function, which just returns the last key in an array, the last value of an array. So by combining, oh well, I'll use the example again. If I um, used, well, I'll just do it. If I do explode on that character, 
using that string and then use end on that this the output of this code would be this here test well the output the return value by end would be this um, it's quite a useful method yeah there are a few other common methods you can use using substring and strpos string position strpos um, but yeah this is just the one I use seems to work okay um, yeah okay so let's just do that now remove this because that doesn't really make much sense at the moment let's just define this new ext variable short for extension just tap that across and that's going to be equal to end like we just talked about I can type properly explode Oops. and then we're going to have a single dot period there um, and then the file name which is files uh, not file, that's what we used before, upload name okay so now we can we have the file extension and we have an array of allowed extensions so now we can simply check if the extension is one of the allowed ones Ooh, uh, that shouldn't be there right uh, we do that using the in array function <laughs> basically it returns true if the first parameter is in the second parameter, first being a sort of anything, and the second being an array to compare in. Um, so we do that using if in array ext ext. If it is, do the file upload. Or what I would prefer to do would be to check that condition against false and then show a message oh not there because that would be the wrong place but then you'd show a message show a message otherwise upload the file um, I think I explained before I always prefer just to check the error condition before anything else and then once you get here none of the errors have been met um, this is basically a whitelist of allowed extensions. Um, oh, one thing I should mention. Um, some people will upload um, files with capital extensions. So you can either add each of these in capitals or you can use the str to lower function on this, which will um, convert any uppercase characters into lowercase ones. Meaning that basically it will work even if they upload a file that has uppercase extension like if they have a file that's called image I don't know they're called, they're called like that aren't they usually D digital cameras tend to have uppercase names for some reason no idea why and I think paint saves some uppercase name that's completely irrelevant anyway um, yeah so that's the end of this tutorial um, I might do another one on um, getting the mime type of a file the type you know like there was the, there were those strings like image slash png. I could do one on getting those reliably. Um, basically, you do that using either using the mime content type function, which has been depreciated, meaning that it's considered old and outdated by PHP. Um, that was done in, ver in version 5.3, I think. Um, it still works, but it's just not the best way. The preferred way um, is using the file info extension. Um, if you go on the php.ini uh, php php page for this function, actually, um, I believe there is a, a link to an example of how to do it the pre preferred way, um, but that might not be available on your server. Anyway, that's completely um, beyond the scope of this video. Um, kind of rambling, but never mind. Um, right, yeah, let's just quickly test this. Um, actually, what I'll do is just show you what would happen if someone uploads a PHP file with the .png extension. So I'll just copy our script here, paste it into the files folder, and change the extension to PNG. Um, just save me actually having to write the code. I mean, we did that in the previous tutorial, let me just show you again. So if I just go to files, try and load it, you see you don't get the actual image you just get this, this the image 
can't be displayed because it contains errors. Ma not massively sort of nice, but um, it's better than the script being executed. So, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've found this useful.